Hey everybody and welcome back to Twincho Shooter and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your PlayStation 1 games look better on the Raspberry Pi 3 and 4 using RetroPie emulation station. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get those knickers out of a twist and let's just dive into it shall we? Now, the first thing you can do is to add a BIOS to your Retro Pi. Now, I cannot show you where to get the BIOS, but I can show you where to put it on your Raspberry Pi. So, what you're gonna want to do is to go to your PC, click this bit here with your Raspberry Pi on, and go backslash, backslash, Retro Pi. Okay, and now there is this section here that says BIOS. Double click on that, right click, and paste your BIOS into the folder. After you've done that, you're going to want to go back to your RetroPie. Once back at your RetroPie, you're going to want to press Start, go down to the bit where it says Quit, press B on your Xbox controller, and Restart Emulation Station. Really? Restart? Yes. And that is the first method to make PlayStation games run a lot better on RetroPie. The next thing you're going to want to do is to go to the PlayStation section and start any game you want. So for this demonstration, we're going to use Tenchu 2, Birth of the Stealth Assassins, one of my favorite games for PlayStation. Now, as you can see, it looks very pixelated and isn't very good. So the first thing you want to do is press the hotkey, which I've got set to the Xbox button, and Y, or triangle, as it would be called on a PlayStation, and press those two together, and it's going to bring up this menu here, the RGUI menu. Go down to the bit at the bottom where it says options and press circle or B on your Xbox controller. Scroll down and the first thing you want to do is where it says pad type, where it says standard, you want to change that to dual shock because the standard controller did not have any analog sticks and this is going to enable the analog sticks to be used. Then you're going to want to go to the bit where it says enable differing and you can turn that off. This one is kind of depends on how you feel about it. The differing doesn't look very good on HD TVs, so I turn that off. And then the bit where it says enhance resolution slow, turn that on, and then enhance resolution speed hack and turn that on. And then we're gonna go back into the game and see the difference it has made. So press the hotkey and triangle again to go back there. And as you can see, the pixels themselves have already cleared themselves up. Ayame looks a lot better. So press it, press the hotkey and triangle again for the next trick. So press A or X on your PlayStation controller or A on your Xbox controller. Press it again and it'll bring you to this section here where it says settings. Press B on your Xbox controller and that will bring you to this menu here. Now what you're gonna want to do is go to the bit where it says video and it says bilinear filtering and turn that on. There we go. Everything is gravy there. And the final thing really differs from game to game, but it's something you can mess around with and see which one you think feels the best. So if you go to the bit where it says output on video, and then when it says video, you can change it from GL Core, SD12, X Video. This is completely depends on the game. This is just the graphics core. I personally prefer X11 for some reason, just based on me playing the games. But sometimes GL works better, sometimes GL Core works better. It's, it's kind of like the back end when it comes to Dolphin and things like that. Sometimes Vulcan works, sometimes Direct X11 works. Once you've got that, press X or A on your controller. A if it's an Xbox controller, X if it's PlayStation controller. Press A again, and then go to the bit where it says drivers, and press B, or circle if you're using a PlayStation controller. And the bit again where it says video, make sure that's the same as the other one, so it's X11. Press back again, then press back again. Go back up to the top where it says quick menu, and resume. Your game is ready to play. So this is what the game looks and runs like with all of these options on. You must master the art of moving like Everything looks smooth and clear and the pixels are nice and cleared up. Be aware of your surroundings. So we look around here look around. Head towards the marker and, perform each exercise and just to show you what I'm going to do is going to take all of these settings off and show you what it looks like originally. Okay, so here is Tenshu without any of the settings that I've previously just shown you. As you can see, it looks very blurry and pixelated, and the character is very blurry and pixelated. Now, if I 
just set that up again, it looks very dull. But if I go for the options and I'll do it one by one, go down to the options, enable divering off, go down to a bit where it says enhance resolution slow, enhance resolution speed hack, go back, and that shows you what that does. Kind of smooths things out a bit. Then if I go back to the menu again, go to settings, change the video output to the one that I prefer, X11. In fact, what I'll do is I'll change it to X video just for this one now. And then turn on bilinear filtering. So everything is set up. Go back to the quick menu, resume. And there it is now looking a lot smoother than it did before. Ready to play. I'm looking absolutely fantastic. I say fantastic, but it is looking a lot better than it was before. One of my favorite PlayStation games of all time, Tenchu. I really wish they'd bring this series back. They kind of probably did with Ghost of Tsushima, but I haven't managed to play that yet. And that is everything for this video. If you've liked this video and used this tutorial, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about RetroPie, about emulation in general, and I will try to answer them in a video as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.